cell phone while driving is a bad idea, then going hands-free should cut down on crashes, right? But researchers say not so fast. It is illegal in Washington state to drive and talk on a cell phone without a hands-free device. Lawmakers believe and research showed cell phones distract drivers. But now actual statistics show that might not be true. In states with cell phone bans, the number of crashes before and after the cell phone laws is the same. The number of crashes did not go down. KXLY 4's McKay Allen live on North Division tonight. And McKay, a lot of people are surprised by this. Yeah, the researchers were surprised. Law enforcement we talked to today in Spokane was very surprised by this. Now, this study came out this morning in the New York Times, and the researchers didn't do a bunch of driving simulations and things to determine this. They looked at the numbers, and they showed one thing, that cell phone laws do not decrease accidents. The common knowledge, the prevailing wisdom, is that talking on a cell phone while driving causes more car crashes. That's the premise cell phone laws requiring hands-free devices are based on. But new numbers, actual statistical data, shows the common knowledge, the prevailing wisdom, is just plain wrong. The National Highway Safety Group, a group that in the past lobbied for laws banning cell phone drivers, looked at the number of crashes in states that have cell phone laws, Washington being one of them. They looked at the numbers of crashes before cell phone bans, and then again after the cell phone laws, and they found this. There is no difference in the crash numbers. Even though fewer people are talking on cell phones after the laws or using hands-free devices, there are no fewer accidents than before. Does this mean the cell phone laws designed to keep us safer are pointless? I wouldn't say that. I mean, I think it's still a good law. It's good that we have those laws here in Washington State. This new information doesn't necessarily mean cell phones aren't distracting. It just means that cell phone laws that were enacted to cut down on crashes simply are not achieving that goal. Now keep in mind there is a bill in the Washington legislature right now that would make talking on a cell phone while driving a primary offense rather than a secondary offense. There's also a proposed ordinance in Coeur d'Alene that would make talking on a cell phone illegal while you drive over there. But again, the, the numbers show, not research, but numbers, actual stats, show that these laws are having no effect whatsoever on the accidents themselves. Reporting live in Spokane, McKay Allen, KXY4HD News.